Speaker recognizes Representative Hood. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in support of the Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy budget. I'd like to highlight a few areas of this budget that I'm particularly proud of because I know how much it is going to benefit our beautiful state, our economy, and the people of Michigan. I want to thank our amazing staff here at the State House and the House Fiscal uh, Department for their dedicated work. And, um, and I, I also want to thank the people who have dedicated their lives to serve in Eagle itself. I have worked for many years with the department before serving here in Lansing and experienced firsthand uh, the stress of a department that was underfunded, that didn't have the staff that they needed to appropriately regulate our natural resources and our uh, environmental concerns in the state. We have seen the impact of that um, in our everyday lives and I'm thrilled to be able to advance new FTEs for this department, uh, long deserving of that investment. In addition to that piece of the budget, we are developing a smart and robust Eagle budget that allows us to write in Michigan's communities. Across this budget, underserved and underburdened, overburdened communities are prioritized as part of our commitment to uplifting disadvantaged areas in Michigan and to achieving environmental justice. For instance, we've allocated $50 million of the re remediation and redevelopment of contaminated sites funding, and it has a special focus on the expansion of air pollution controls in underrepresented communities. This budget also includes over $280 million for water infrastructure projects and an additional uh, hundreds of millions for lead service line replacements. We are thrilled uh, to see uh, additional investments, $25 million in Michigan's filter-first equipment for our school buildings and our children. With these investments, we will be able to deliver clean water accessibly to communities across the state. But our work there is not done uh, many miles to go over the next several budgets. I've heard people say that our groundwater supply is our sixth Great Lake. But despite the importance of groundwater supply to our farmers and rural communities and, uh, and the dependence on wells in those same communities, we know very little about the state's geology and its aquifers. We've invested $23.8 million to continue our work to gather more data and to study this important source of water supply. We recommend investing $20 million to reduce risk and support dam removals and or repairs to protect public safety, allow native species to gain access to new habitat, or to mitigate in invasive species as appropriate. We're funding grants to advance economic development and clean energy. We will establish a fund to support and incentivize local communities looking to create renewable energy facilities. In addition to advancing clean energy supply, we're also signaling readiness for quality clean energy jobs in Michigan. We'll invest in critical mineral recycling research to support Michigan universities in their efforts to discover ways to reuse critical minerals required to produce clean energy. EV batteries and storage battery batteries require this material. We've set a goal to invest in the energy water nexus, technologies like micro hydropower generation, emerging offshore wind technologies, heat pumps, and innovative pump storage opportunities. This budget will touch every corner of Michigan, and our friends in the UP will not be left behind. We'll invest in natural gas storage to help mediate volatility in the natural gas market, providing affordable energy to the people of the UP, and to provide backup fuel to support the economy in the context of dramatic storms like extreme winter weather. This investment will double its impact by helping to relieve train congestion in Sarnia. And I think that's something the UP can say ya yeah to, eh? <laughs> 
You're paying attention, that's good. Uh, all of you know budget season is an opportunity to address the concerns of Michigan's residents and stakeholders. It's a chance to reflect our values by prioritizing spending in ways that position Michigan for a brighter future. As legislators, it's our job to serve the people of Michigan. We're doing that today by reinvesting in their today and our collective tomorrow. Colleagues, I strongly encourage you to vote yes on this bill, to invest in our air, our water, public health, and most of all, the people of Michigan. Thank you.